This is tank number two. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay, I'm gonna make it quick. So, as you can tell, I've been having some issues with the GoPro. Um, I had some content going, um, but it ended up messing up on the GoPro, so it didn't go up, like, on any content. Um, so it's kind of frustrating, but at the end of the day, it's okay. Um, I had some lifts Monday. I'm gonna throw up, so you gotta watch. And so I included a top set of eight with 355 pounds on SSB. Two back off sets of eight with 245. And then I had Bulgarian split squats, three sets of 20 per leg for 20 reps at 20 pounds. Fuck my life. And then I had a nice two sets of six at seven with hamstring RDLs. Um, and that's really about it. Really tired now because of that shit, but I'm feeling okay. I'm ready to get this content to you guys. Thank you guys for being patient. It's been like two weeks. I kind of want to do an Atlanta Open update on how that went with my friend Kyle. Kid, he ended up like miraculously having like game day coach him. So that was exciting. And we were able to pull for the win, which is always a crazy scenario in powerlifting. Um, so I'm going to try to get in the works on that, see if I can throw that up there for you guys. But other than that, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is uh, right here. And then on top of that, I actually have a podcast with my friend Devin Tucker, or fuck Devin, yeah, Devin Tucker. His name is on Instagram is Devin Lettuce Tomato. So it's Devin Tucker, it's right here. And basically, um, we talk about anything and everything in terms of strength to politics. Um, there's really no like reign in what the category is. It's, of course, it's gonna be strength, that's gonna be the purpose of it. But I mean, I like to say that I'm more than just a fucking meathead as a whole. But other than that, um, we're going to go ahead and get to the gym. We have some incline bench presses that I'm excited for. Later in this block, as you're going to see, it's going to get crazy when I ramp it up for some singles. If not sets, terms to reps. But uh, yeah, done uh, mouth vomiting. Let's go ahead and get to the gym and uh, get the... What's up, everybody? So I was going to go and jump on here real quick and do a little voiceover during the accessory work. So right now I'm going through a 13-week hypertrophy block. So there's not going to be too much excitement in between, like, some nutty fucking accessory PRs, maybe some positive PRs. But as y'all can tell, I'm kind of building my base. Right now I'm sitting around 250, which is the heaviest I've ever been in my lifting career and my personal life. So it's kind of intimidating and alongside exciting because like it's crazy being like six foot two, 250 pounds and I'm 22. Like I do want to keep the healthy aspect to it, which I still feel like I'm healthy. Um, and I and I still feel like I have my um, athleticism to a point, but I can tell it's going to eventually shed away as I get kind of heavier. So I'm going to try to focus on possibly stretching more and just honestly having more downtime to be an athlete because at the end of the day it's all about health and uh, fitness and that's why I haven't gone down the uh, steroid route and that's why I uh, kind of pride myself on being like not a fat 250 pound 22 year old so anyways I hope you guys kind of stay with me on this whole hypertrophy phase and we're uh, start to go into a peak because I feel like this is going to help me out a lot and it's going to help build my base um, I'm going to try to end the end of this year around 250 around 255 hopefully with a little bit more leaner body weight, so I put on some good muscle, because I can tell you guys, this um, is going to get fucking crazy, trust me, coming into these RPs, 8 9s, the next 4 or 5 months, but anyways guys, thank you for sticking with me, um, subscribing and following, hope y'all enjoy this journey on this next competition we have, and y'all can see the beginning process, we get back to the video. Alright everybody, so... You saw that little pose. Um, I'm okay. I feel really bloated. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of sodium. I don't know. Some say I just felt really like fat. God damn, I felt fat. I feel juicy though. But fat. 
Um, so what y'all saw basically was just one meat potatoes type situation. I had um, 205 for eight, 215 for eight, and then 225 for eight on incline. For these movements, especially with overhead press, I'm gonna start going raw, no belt, no uh, wrist wraps. Not there's anything against it, but I'm wanting to get the core movement and the most out of just my muscles raw because of that movement. <sighs> Yesterday overhead press, I should have stretched a little bit. I felt like uh, my front delts a little bit impinged. It feels better now than it did yesterday, but that's about it in terms of today's video. Once again, um, at the beginning of the video, wait, I think I didn't get that. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. It's right here at premium underscore postel. And then my nomad strength is also going to be right here. Nomad underscore strength on Instagram. We also have a podcast at nomad strength. Um, and then that's really about it. So um, that'll wrap up this video. I'll probably have this drop to y'all maybe Friday just because I don't work out tomorrow. Um, and I'll, I'll get some volume quality work in for Thursdays. So until uh, Wednesday me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is my domesticated American short hair, Lindsay. Um, Today we have deadlifts. Like I told y'all in the Monday me, and or no, Tuesday me. Wait, let's say Thursday. Yeah, Tuesday me said that. So the past me is telling the future me, now the present me, that we have deadlifts today. So with that being said, I have on shorts, my fucking dick and balls are stuck together. My girlfriend, my fiance, thinks I have on underwear. It looks like underwear. But I, I think it's just compression. The athletes know. So I'm gonna head to the store real quick, get some gummy bears uh, so she can snack on that because she's got for work. That's a big fucking bump. Expensive, there's the forest. Brother, yo. And that was probably illegal to do it, but. Anyways, we get to the gym, start the deadlifts, and then I got front squats. So I'm trying to get a podcast out tonight with Devin. So time is like not too bad, but like I have a life as well. So it's kind of like trying to find the balance, but that's about it. So we're gonna head to the gym. Like I said, for the time and head to the gym. So I'm gonna go ahead to the gym. So what you just saw was the, uh, had a top set of 475 for five paws and I felt really good. So I made me go up to 485 and that felt good. My right trap is a little bit tight, but I think it's because of the dehydration and just being a dumbass with my uh, warm-up uh, attempt selection. So now 
we moved on to um, dumbbell incline bench. And so I took 80 for a set of 15, 17, and then 20, um, because last week I had two sets of 20 with 80, so I wanted to keep the same. I wanted to go up and wait, but I'd rather just keep stimulus because it's the third set added. So I just went ahead and pushed the 20, and that was right where I wanted to be. It gave me a true nine, so let me edit that in the uh, app. But now we have front squats, which you're about to see. I have two sets, I'm pretty sure. I think 170 to 185 possibly. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, today felt fucking amazing. Um, I don't know what it was. I guess I'm just adapting. Um, everything felt amazing. Last week was fucking horrible. I had it recorded, but uh, like I said, it was on the slum. So I didn't really do shit. But I felt amazing. She felt kind of like booty because we upped her stimulus. And so uh, I think this is exciting in terms of the muscle I'm going to be building in the next couple of... Uh, months off of this programming i'm extremely excited because i was already extremely strong guy from the beginning i just needed a good base level with a lot of my lifts and so now we're kind of getting in that territory to where i'm at base level or past that base level so anyways that'll be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching it all the way through if you did don't forget to uh, like share comment and subscribe to it please so i can uh quit my job become a god and deadlift a thousand pounds natural without working a uh fucking 40 hour shift so until the next episode guys um yes soon